Welcome to the Tinkercad Alien Training. I want you to go to Tinkercad.com. Once you get to Tinkercad, make sure you're signed in and create a new design. And then they always give it the funny name, but I want you to click Properties and put in Alien and then your initials so that you can keep track of it. Once you've got that done, let's start with a basic shape by going down and finding the cylinder and drop a cylinder on there for his leg. I'm going to try that one more time because I had a funny piece selected. And then I want you to take those and instead of 20 millimeters or, or 2 centimeters, I want you to make it 10. I'm going to hold down shift so that it's 10 each way. And then I'm going to do control C and control V so that he's got 2 legs. I'm going to try and line those up a little bit so that my math is pretty easy later. So you can see I've got the left edge on one centimeter here and the right edge on another. And then I'm going to take those two legs and I'm going to group them. And then I'm going to raise them up so I've got some room to put feet. So I'm putting five millimeters for the feet. I can adjust that later if I want. To do feet, I want us to go to components. I'm sorry, I mean shape generators. And I want us to go down into the community shape generators. I'm going to allow you to pick any on any of these pages, but I want you to find something that you think is cool for making feet. I'm going to give my dude truncated cubo somethings for feet. When I bring in that foot, I'm not going to follow any rules anymore. I'm just going to make it what I think is awesome. And I'm going to stretch that foot out to a area that I think is sweet and then once again I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge him into place and now my little alien dude has got a foot that I can tweak and adjust to my heart's content when I've got one foot that I'm happy with I can do control C to copy control V to paste and use my arrows and put into the next spot so this whole project is going to be about exploring these cool tools that you can get at from the community shape gener area. So right now I need the next part of his leg, which I'm going to say is knees. I'm going to say those are his shins. So I'm going to skip around and find another page, and I am going to decide that this is going to be my knee. When I drop it in, it gives me all kinds of ways that I can adjust it. I like the 10 millimeters. Uh, but I want 10 for the total size. So instead of dragging the slider, I'm going to double click the uh, number and I'm going to just change it. So all of a sudden my knee actually fits. Oops, I lost it. What I was making. So I'm going to make my strings uh, 2 and I'm going to make my inner diameter 5. I accidentally ended up with two of those, so I'm going to delete one. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it up on my knee by using the also awesome uh, lift up tool. And I'm going to adjust it over and get it where I want using the arrow keys. Remember, and if you want more perfection on your grid, you just switch to which size you want. Once you've got one knee in place, you do want to make sure that it's touching. And then you can do your control C and control V. So once again, we're pop, co uh, practicing those awesome copy skills as we create our cool designs. When you're done with that, figure out your legs or the top part of your legs. I'm going to go to the next page. So I'm trying to find something probably on each. Anytime I see something that I think is pretty cool, I'm going to store that away for later. You can see I found some goofy squirrely tube joint thing that I thought was awesome for the next part of his legs. Now I'm going to add a base. And just keep using these skills to build yourself an awesome alien. Make sure he's got all the parts that you think an alien should have. Or she. And continue to make your awesome little person all the way through using as many of these cool pieces as you can come up with remember when you do things like arms you can uh, use the awesome techniques like adjust to mirror him and I want this one to flip 
this way and then I can just adjust it, uh, adjust it to where I want but make sure you're using all the possible skills that you need to make these awesome people now I'm gonna add the special effects like I want this person to have a uh, drill bit end but don't forget this trick when you want to add something up there hit your W so that you can change your work plane so that you're putting the parts right where you want them now I've got a drill bit piece on one side and I've got to find something that I want to put on the other side and you can see here I chose to make my own custom cannon thing with just a few pieces I found remember you can use W and click anywhere else to uh, shut off your work plane I'm gonna add a head to mine just because who doesn't want a head on their little alien dude maybe you can find a hat but tweak adjust and see just how awesome you can make your alien making sure you're patient as it saves so you don't lose your work when you think your alien is totally done and awesome click design show me and also upload it to Thingiverse because who doesn't want to show off our cool projects once it uploads click C model on Thingiverse you can check out the thing view to see how cool it looks you can publish it so anybody can see it and then while you're also in Thingiverse do this real quick uh, search for the roar which is me and when you press enter make sure that you choose instead of things you want to find users and then follow me because when you do this then I'll be able to follow you and I will see all the creations that you make instantly on my feed so when you have a feed like that that's how you track people down so congratulations on making an awesome alien make sure you keep up your awesome skills and share with others all the cool things you've learned about designing in Tinkercad Thank you.